Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. Had a question just come in from a viewer which uh, named Ken Hall who said, watch some videos, working on a part, need to make a groove for an O-ring. Wanted to know if you had a video for that. Uh, I don't think I've got a video on that and I actually normally don't do videos in direct responses to inquiries. It wouldn't be practical but uh, I was just sitting down to do a customer part and the solid model had different dimensions than the drawing and so I've got to put that on hold while we figure that out so you caught me at a good time Ken uh, this will just be real quick lesson anyways so I thought let's uh, let's give it a whirl here so in the Libre create a new part and we are going to create an o-ring groove around a cylinder so we'll activate sketch select our plane create a cylinder we will do a one inch cylinder we'll extrude that down to three inches long I want that to go I always like working below my Z so there's our cylinder and let's put two rings in we'll do them different ways the first way is the more sort of a crude way but it certainly works fine we're gonna right click and we're gonna do insert plane and we're gonna insert that plane two-thirds the way down this shaft length so you could do negative two or let's work with formulas so we make sure everyone understands how parametric modeling works so we could do negative two which will put it where we want it or we could use a formula we will check and confirm that that, di that dimension of negative three is formula d2 so we will do d2 divided by three that puts us a third of the way down so we'll multiply that by two and now we're down two-thirds of the way so if you change the length of this cylinder you will always maintain that as two-thirds of the way down so click OK OK now we've got a plane where we want it activate 2D sketch select that plane now it looks like you're working on the top surface you're not you're working at that plane so if we want the depth of our overing groove to be nine uh, a point one around we will do a point nine inch diameter circle and the second circle doesn't really matter as long as it's wider than the shaft and then we will do extrude cut and if we zoom in here we will extrude that to negative point one and there we have it and we can toggle the reverse to make sure we've got it on the bottom side of the uh, plane which is where I decided I wanted it so now you've got a square groove and if we wanted to round that out we could choose fillet select the face and then for radius again you could put 0.05 or better yet use a formula the number we just created was d6 so we will do d6 divided by 2 make sure Oops. see here why didn't that work oh negative there we go because the d6 is uh, already a negative number you can't do a negative radius click OK and there we've got it the nice thing about this is if we change that to negative point two the radius will follow along <clears throat> as we uh, update the fillet the other way to do it we'll do a second one uh, one-third the way down we are going to use the extrude uh, revolve excuse me the revolve cut feature so what we're going to do is activate this sketch plane uh, let's see here what is that one the YZ which puts our part on its side so there's a front there's the side I like working from this side circle and we will sketch a point one inch diameter circle and we want to oops put that uh, this is very important we want to put that halfway up so let's see here one inch d1 divided by two okay so now we've got the circle halfway up just select revolve cut we want to we want to uh, cut it all the way around the part axis is obviously the z axis which you can select you click there or you can click up here in the menu click OK and now you've got a, um, and now you've got your O-ring groove. The nice th feature about this is 
obviously you can do it with any type of geometry so if we delete this and we just add a square in there <clears throat> deactivate refresh there you go same idea complex geometry and shapes etc so that should should show you what you were looking for Ken and hopefully for the rest of you folks maybe you learned something even if it's uh, small I love a Libre I don't love the new Geo Magic I think that's really a shame uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm a young guy, so it's hard to call me old school. But look, you know, when I tell my customers what software I use, I've got no problem saying a Libre, whether they know it or not. But I think GeoMagic makes me sound like an idiot. So if the folks at a Libre are watching this, hope you take note. Um, that stuff matters to uh, folks like myself who who love your software. It's a great um, budget version of SolidWorks, for lack of a better description. Uh, very powerful tool for the price, so I do recommend it. Just a bummer they had to uh, go change their name, which I think was probably part of the uh, acquisition by one of the 3D printing companies. Anyways, folks, that's all for now. Take care. I will be back, as promised, soon with uh, some Heat Treat 01 die videos and polishing those up to get a nice finish on them. Take care.